Shalom and welcome to the Supreme Torah. This year is entitled, Are Magic Shows Permissible? Are they allowed? You say, well, we have them all the time. Not simple at all. The Gemara in Samachin Sanhedrin talks about Orches Esenayim, where it seems to be that the person is, the former is tricking people. Rav and Perakid Aleph talks about Orches Esenayim, once again, holding people's eyes. Hagot Mimonir on the spot is pretty machmi as well. Then you get down to Shochanach Kofayin Tet. The Shach there says in his conversation with Shochanach, Orches Esenayim means that it's without magic. It's just trick of the hand, slide of the hand. That is an Isidoraita. Then you go down from the Shach a generation later to the Chachmas Adam. He says, in Heros Machashev, the, the weddings, they're having these Badchanim over there, and there's uh, many people over Isurim by going and having, having these magicians. You have the performers over in Isur, the one who brings him in is over in Isur, the people watching is over in Isur, and anyone that could have stopped this from happening. This is serious violation. Four viol- people and groups of violations over here. And the Piskei Chuvan Kofayin Tet Yoraday brings this down as well, that it is also. And then Rav Avad Yosef in Yechavadat Gimel brings this, all the sheets down, says it is Asor. Shevet Alevi, they ask the Shevet Alevi, Rav Ozzel what about if we go ahead and we do the tricks for the kids, but the magician will show. He says, no, I don't think that that's a heter either, if he tells what it is. He's doing the magic tricks, it's Asor, that's a simple shot. Wow, that's a pretty serious line of postcom that Asor this. What do we base ourselves on? We'll see those who are more lenient. Shalom.